Hey first grade, how you guys doing? Today we're gonna work on something called singing syllables. And this is a new skill. Some of the words we're gonna use, some of the uh, music terms that we're gonna throw out there are gonna sound familiar, but this is not something we've worked on in first grade. Brand new skill for us. Um, so in order for us to understand what singing syllables are, I have to talk to you about why we need them. Cause right up till now, we haven't really needed them. Um, one thing we have to understand is that when we learn a song, we usually do it by echoing. Uh, I sing a part and you sing it back to me. And that might not seem super difficult, but your brain actually kind of does a lot of work right there. Um, not only does your brain have to listen to pitch, which I'm going to use that word a lot today. Pitch means the difference between high sounds and low sounds. Uh, not only does your brain have to learn, have to listen to whether the sounds are up, down, or all around, but it also has to hear the words and remember the words. And for a lot of the first grade and kindergarten songs we've done, it's doable. Sometimes we have to hear it a few times before it really sticks in our head, but it's very doable. As you get older and you learn more difficult songs, the melodies are going to jump around a whole lot more. They're not going to be quite as easy. So a lot of times we try to learn melodies without, uh, without the words first, just so we can hear just the way the sounds are moving up, down, just the way the pitch is moving. And when we do that, we use singing syllables to do it. Singing syllables are very short, nonsense words. And again, these are probably words that you've heard of before. Uh, as soon as I start give them, giving them to you, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I know that one. Um, we're going to learn seven of them today. And every one of them has a different sound. Uh, we're going to go from the lowest to the highest. And every one of them has a different hand signal. So as we go through this, I'm going to teach you each one, I'm going to show you the hand signal, and I'm going to give you guys some opportunities to kind of hear me sing a pattern and then echo it right back, okay? Now, when I give you the chance to echo it back, I'll be playing piano. So as much as I'll show you the hand signal when I'm doing it, you're going to be on your own to kind of practice the hand signal. If I sing you a melody and show you the hand signals and you forget what to do when it's your turn to echo, that's okay, this is a video, and you can rewind me a couple seconds and try it again, all right? Um, and what we're gonna do next week, the video I'm gonna post next week, is gonna use these again. So I would love to see you just kinda try your hand at it. It's not something you have to practice every day, but give, give it a little bit. Give it, you know, uh, watch, watch this video and maybe spend a couple minutes trying to practice them and maybe even teach them to somebody else at home. So the notes that we're going to sing are going to sound like this. And I bet that sequence of notes is going to sound really familiar to you. We've probably all heard that before. Now, the bottom one, the lowest one, we call Do. And when we sing that, we're going to show our hand signal for it by just a closed fist. And because it's our lowest note, we're going to put it down low. We're going to put it kind of right in front of our belly button. Okay, so whenever we sing Do, Do, we try and make to match that lowest pitch, and we put that fist right down there. Now, like I said, when we do a song with this next week, uh, I'm going to ask you guys to remember as many of those as you can. Okay, so definitely practice them with this video. The next one we have is called Ray. Okay, and Ray looks a little bit different than closed fist. With Ray, we're gonna make our hand flat and then we're gonna tilt it up just a little bit. Now, because Ray sounds a little bit higher than Do, we're going to kind of move it up. So I've got Do right here, I've got Ray right here. So I'm gonna sing it and then I'm gonna give you a count off to sing it back to me. And like I said, I'll play the notes on the piano so you can kind of hear what you're singing, okay? Do, Ray, one, two, ready, go. Do, Re, okay? Next one we're gonna add is Mi. And Mi actually looks a lot like Re, except instead of being tilted up, it's gonna be flat, just like that. Pretty easy hand position so far, okay? So this one's gonna look like this. Do, Re, Mi. Okay, I'm gonna count you off. Try those with me. One, two, ready, go. Do, Re, Mi. 
Next one is a little bit more difficult and uh, it's, it's also a little uncomfortable, so I won't make you hold it for a, for a long time. Um, this one is called Fa, and you're gonna start by giving a thumbs up, then you're gonna flip it upside down to a thumbs down, then you're gonna take your knuckles and just kind of pull them out a little bit. And you can put that right against your chest. So everything that's kind of uh, moving up is gonna, is gonna go from belly button to about chest like this. Do, re, mi, fa. Now, um, you, you might take a couple practice runs before you can go from me to fa and set that up really quickly. Cause like I said, this is, this is a really weird one. This is an awkward one, but just do your best with it. Um, I'm gonna count you off so you can do that back to me. Do, re, mi, fa. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Do, re, mi, fa. Next one is so. And if you thought fa was difficult, you're gonna be really happy because so is not. So we're gonna take that flat hand we put out for me and for Ray, and we're just gonna turn it so that the palm of your hand is kind of facing in. And this goes kind of on your upper chest, just a little bit below your neck, okay? So it's gonna look and sound like this. Do, re, mi, fa, so, okay? I'm gonna count you off and I'll play it with you. One, two, here we go. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Okay, wonderful work so far. So the next one, and there's only two more sort of. Um, the next one is called la, okay? Now really quick before we go to la, let's see if you can tell me all of the ones we've done so far. There have been five, all right? Go ahead, starting with do, do. Okay, I literally recorded this a couple days before you watched it, so I have no idea, but I'm assuming you got it right. And you know what, if you forgot some, watch again, okay? So the next one, like I said, is la, and this one's kind of cool. This one, um, I think of it like a monster claw. So I'm gonna take my two fingers right here and my thumb, uh, and I make a monster claw, and then I take these two, and I just kind of tuck them underneath. And this one goes right around your chin, okay? The way it's gonna sound is like this. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la. And that's where we leave it for now, okay? Um, I'm gonna have you try it all the way up to la. Here we go. One, two, here we go. Do, re, That's not right, hold on. Let me try that again. One, two, here we go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la. Okay, the last one, again, sort of, because if you've been, uh, if you were listening at the beginning, I told you we were gonna learn seven, but if we hear that whole sequence of notes, there are actually eight different notes in there. So you'll see how we're gonna get away with seven in just a minute. The last one is T, okay? And we get T by kind of making an L with our hand and then we turn it a little bit sideways and we just kind of hang it off the end of our nose like that, okay? If we're doing them all in a row, this is what we're gonna get. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, T, okay? That's the idea. Now here's the last one. And the reason I say that we're pretty much done learning new ones is because the last one's not new. We're gonna take that do and we're going to move it up, okay? We've got something called an octave there. It means that the notes are eight apart and they sound very much alike. One is just higher, okay? There's our low do and our high do. So this is what the thing's gonna look like all together, look and sound like. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Okay, and I'm gonna count you off and I'm gonna play with you. I'll sing it with you, I'll play with you, I'll do the whole shebang. You ready? One, two, here we go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Okay. 
So now a couple little challenges for you guys. Uh, number one is easy. I'm going to ask you to, instead of watching me do it and then singing with me, I'm going to ask you to just kind of jump in and try it with me. I'm going to sing with you. I'm going to do the movements with you and I'm going to count you off so you can try it with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Okay. I'm gonna assume you did wonderful there. And you know, if you if you need a little practice, rewind. Um, the last challenge I'm gonna leave you with, and if you don't feel like you're ready for this, try some of the early practices again and then come back. Um, we're at the 10 minute, 10 and a half minute mark of the video. This is where you're gonna find the last challenge. I'm gonna challenge you to try and go up and then back down, okay? So I'm gonna show you how it's done and then we're gonna try and do it together, okay? So here's just me. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Okay, let's try it together. One, two, here we go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. All right, awesome, awesome work. And uh, like I said, practice those a little bit. If you uh, draw a blank when you see next week's video, that's okay, I'll refresh you on how we do them. Um, but we're definitely going to be using both those singing syllables and also the different hand signals with them uh, in the song we do next week. So take it easy, guys. I'll see you next time.